When we're in the throes of emotional pain, so often we just want to fix it. We view negative feelings as problems we need to solve so we can just feel better. But Dr. Stephen Hayes, creator of Acceptance and Commitment Therapy, says that when it comes to emotions, our problem-solving instinct isn't always a helpful one. And he tells us the reasons why. There's a lot of wisdom in our emotions. There's a lot of wisdom in our thoughts. And sorting them into good and bad and then trying to get rid of the bad and only have the good, what it leads to is suppression, amplification of uh, negative thoughts, the failure to learn from things that are uh, quote unquote negative and yet are important. Uh, and ironically and kind of sadly, almost in a pathetic way, it, learns, it leads to the inability to really experience and be with uh, the kind of positive emotions that ha happen in the rise and fall of life to really appreciate and savor the instances of, of intimacy and engagement, support by others and accomplishment. So we've shown in our work that this process, this normal human sol problem solving process overextends to the world within and we begin to try to um, avoid our own thoughts and feelings that are difficult. Many of those things are, are useful. If somebody dies who's close to you, what kind of human being would not want to be sad? You know, it's not two weeks into a process of grieving or somebody's offering you a tranquilizer if you need it. It's gotten very harsh over being able to sort of be with pain, even if it's useful and we learn from it. And so what we're trying to do in the mindfulness work, I think, is get back to a wiser part of our traditions and then explore that scientifically and in our clinical work. So you want to be able to notice what you think and feel. You want to be able to have flexible attention and a sense of self that is not threatened by the world within. And then be able to shift your, your attention towards what you value and care about and linking your behavior to that. Difficult emotions are not just problems to be solved. They're a natural and valuable part of our human experience.